Okay, so we are on to hive three. So when yeah. the feed is gone. Yeah, this one's definitely doing pretty well. Yeah, this I remember was a pretty active hive. I think it was um, the one with the most drawn out comb the last time. While Jesse's getting that one ready to go, uh, you might see there's some posts up around. Hopefully this gets done here pretty quickly this week. It's for our electric fence. Uh, keep all of the animals out of the bees because we have bear, we have deer, and other fun things here. Um, we're also adding a bunch of apple trees and uh, crab apple trees, uh, which will help the bees. The bees will help the apples. Um, so There's a big old drone right really here, just a, wandering around. Really just a win-win for all of us. Yeah, they're already starting to draw out this very end frame here, so that's a good sign. And let's check out the second to last frame here. What did you use for your smoker? Pine needles? Yeah, pine needles, a little bit of grass. So this one's got lots and lots of... You should oops. see all the bees on the other side. That one's pissed. Don't make them mad. I just about smushed him. So this side here does not have a heck of a lot drawn out. But there's a lot of bees working it. Yep. But on this side, Ooh. it's all drawn out except for the very, very bottom. Yeah, it is. Those are pretty much all workers. I see one drone wandering around, but pretty much all these are workers otherwise. Some Probably of them are like, hey girls, look at me. Yep, some of them are uh, filling. So as I go in further to the middle, these are all gonna be drawn out. So like this one here. This one here has lots of brood in there, in the middle there. Mm -hmm. So that's all baby bees, baby worker bees. How do you know that it's a worker bee versus a drone? Because drone bees, are their cells are bigger because they're bigger bees. Okay. So those are the ones they draw out on the bottom like I showed you on that first one. Mm -hmm. Is their cells are bigger. Ooh, look, it's like glistening in there. So why is it glistening? Is that just... That's just the nectar that they're storing or the baby bees. Like if you look in here, you can see um, little eggs in the bottom. If you zoom in there. Uh, yeah. Do you see them? Uh -huh. So that's larvae in these ones here. And then the, this up here is all honey. So you can see how they are doing the honey around the top and the corners. Uh -huh. And then in the middle here is larvae. So. These larvae in here are still open and they're still getting fed and then eventually they'll be capped and they'll look like over here where these are all larvae inside here. And you can see these ones here aren't quite capped yet, but you can see how those are bigger. Mm -hmm. And then they start building the caps over the top once they're big enough and then they'll chew their way out to emerge. Like we saw with that drone. Like we saw with that one drone, yeah. Here's a drone right here eating. Eating a baby? Oh, no, eating some honey. Come on. Mm. They're not cannibals, Heather. Okay. Oh, don't let that thing fall. It's funny. So, I'm still uh, waiting to find the queen in this one, but there's obviously lots of uh, baby, uh, a lot of babies in there, so there must be a queen in here somewhere. Yeah, we've seen the queen in this one a couple of times. Yep. Yeah. Seeing like Lots of eggs going on in here. How much do you think that that weighs right now? This weighs at least 10 pounds. Maybe a little more. Pretty heavy. Got a lot of them on there. Yeah, it looks really good though. 
All right, I'm going to stop this video. You just shout if something cool comes up. All right. Cool comes up. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody, for our bee update.